Here is a short story from Hans Christian Andersen. Once there was a chicken, and one night as she was preparing to go to sleep, she was preening herself and grooming herself. And as she did so, a single feather fell from her chest to the ground. And as she watched the feather fall, she laughed to herself and said, Well, perhaps it will make me more beautiful. <laughs> and if losing one feather makes me more beautiful, perhaps I should pluck out more to make myself even more attractive. And she laughed to herself with a chuckle. And she settled down to sleep, thinking no more of it. What she didn't realise, of course, was that another chicken further along the chicken hut had heard her words. And that chicken was shocked. And the chicken flew up into the rafters to tell the bat what she'd heard. And she told the bat, You will not believe it, but there is a chicken in this chicken house who is prepared to pluck out half her feathers just to make herself more attractive. The bat couldn't believe what he was hearing, and he said, Sorry, can't you hear that? You see, bats have very high voices. I I I'll tell you what he said. He said, I don't believe it. And the chicken said, well, It's quite true. So the bat thought that he needed to share this information. So he flew out of the rafters of the chicken house and up into the tree that was hanging over it. And in the tree, there was a nest of pigeons. And he told one of the pigeons what he'd heard. And obviously I'll have to tell you because you won't be able to hear what he's saying. And the bat said, you will not believe it. But in this chicken house, there are two chickens who are prepared to pluck out most of their feathers just to make themselves more attractive to the cockerel. And the pigeon said, I don't believe it. And the bat said, it's quite true. The pigeon was so surprised at what she'd heard that she flew across the road to a tree on the other side of the road. And there there was living a family of owls. And the pigeon told what she had heard to the owl. And she said, you will not believe it, but in this chicken house, all of the chickens are prepared to pluck out half of their feathers just to make themselves attractive to the cockle. The owl said, oh, I don't believe it. But the pigeon said, it's quite true. The owl, of course, couldn't keep what he'd heard to himself, so he flew down to the chicken run, where, scrabbling outside the chicken house, was the cockerel. And the owl said to the cockerel, Oh, 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 you will not believe it, but I have heard that there is a chicken house not far from this one, where every chicken has decided to pluck out her feathers just to make herself more attractive to the cockerel. Ooh, ooh. And the cockerel said, oh, 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 I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. And the owl said, Ooh, it's quite true. The cockerel fluffed out all his feathers and stormed into the chicken house and said to all his wise, oh, 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 oh. You will not believe it, but there is a chicken house not far from here where every chicken has plucked out every one of their feathers so that they are quite bald just to make the cockerel more attracted to them. And the chickens, with almost one voice, said, We don't believe it! And the cockerel said, ah, 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 It's quite true! I said almost all the chickens, because at the end of the chicken house was a chicken who earlier had lost a single feather. And she heard what the cockerel said, and she couldn't believe it. And she said, how ridiculous. Every chicken in a chicken house plucking out their feathers just to make themselves more attractive to the cockerel? I don't believe it. But you and I know that the story that the cockerel told was quite true. And we learn that how a simple rumour can be magnified and magnified from one single feather to a hen house of bald chickens. 
And that's the story of Quite True from Hans Christian Andersen. And that's how I told it to you. <laughs>